pleased to be joined in studio right now by Cardinals wide receiver Greg Dortch. Greg, what's going on? How you doing? Doing good. There's a lot of excitement about this team, around this team, not just not just like here in this mm-hmm. facility, but obviously with that read I just did with the, the fans out there too. Can you guys sense that? There should be. I'm not going to lie. I feel like everybody's uh, going into year two with this system. Everybody's a little bit more confident. Um, we got a playmaker on offense that we just brought in, um, and Marvin, and everybody's excited. Yeah. So you signed another contract with the Arizona Con- How's that feel, Greg? Um, well, it feels great. Of course, knowing where I came, uh, knowing where I came from, uh, just being undrafted, um, it feels really good. But uh, every every year is a prove it year for me, um, and I'm really excited to just go out there and show everybody what I can do. I, I just love the fact that you have that kind of mentality. You don't, yeah. you know what yeah. I mean? You are all about the prove it. Have you always been like that? Greg? I have. Uh, I think that's the reason why I'm still standing where I am today. Um, just knowing how the game works and uh, nothing's guaranteed, man. You got to yep. really go out there and just prove yourself every single day. This is the NFL um, and this is what we get paid to do. So um, I'm excited for this season. You've uh, you've become a fan favorite over the years, probably because of that mentality. That that seems to, to really kind of be at the forefront of it. But, you know, you, you talk about proving it and you did and then there's all of a sudden a new coaching staff and a new GM, so you had to prove it. Again, I know your mentality yeah. is kind of do it every year, but did you did you have to kind of take a step back and be like, everything, all the equity I build up is kind of out the window because they just changed everybody around me? Uh, Yeah, no. I mean, it's football at the end of the day. I, I, I always feel confident in knowing that I can make plays when I go out there. I just need an opportunity, um, and opportunities will come. You just have to continue to just keep your head down and work hard, um, and once opportunities come, then you just prove yourself. And I feel like I've, I've given an opportunity to do that, and I've showed myself time after time. Greg, what is the best part of playing the game of football? I would say just being around the guys and the team. Um, it's no other feeling. I feel like when you talk to guys who retire, um, Tom Brady and all the guys who just leave the game, that's the first thing that they bring up is the, the locker room and just missing all the guys. It's not the touchdowns. It's not um, the fans. We love the fans, but – it's the guys that you go to war with, that you mm. wake up at 5, 6 a.m. and you go to lifts and you um, you just struggle with. You lose games and you, you win two games and you lose two games. You just struggle. So it's really the locker room. We're talking to Greg Dortch. Greg, you, you mentioned Marvin Harrison Jr. And, and we'll get into the re- other receivers that this team has brought in. But for you in particular now, New Deal, how, how do you think you fit into this, this passing game? I feel like I fit well. Uh, I think the coaches would do a good job of implementing everybody. Um, and when my time comes and they call my number, I think I'll fit in just perfect. Um, but that's not up to me to determine right now. My job is just to continue to show up and just be consistent. And when my number's called, just prove it. So if you had a choice, if you had to pick one, Greg, score a touchdown, receiving touchdown in a game, or just destroy a punt returner <laughs> yep. on special teams, which one would you take? I'm going to go punt return 100%. <laughs> oh, no. yeah, I'm going to go punt return. It's, it's uh, rare. No, that's seriously? a rare play. Yeah, that's a rare play in the game. Uh, and it changes the whole dynamic of the game. <laughs> yes, it does. It changes everything. I can remember last year when we played Atlanta, uh, third quarter, close game, and I had that big punt return. I spent off a guy and broke free. Yeah. Um, and it just lit the whole entire stadium up and – I feel like that honestly propelled us forward and helped us win that game. So punt returns and kick returns, they, they changed the game. Was there a moment, maybe there wasn't, but was there like a distinct moment in your career so far where you're like, yeah, I'm here? Like, Not, not that everything's given and you're locked in, but just yeah. like, I can do this and, and I know I can do it and now I'm proving it. <laughs> That's funny. I, it's weird because I'm not a big guy, but I always feel like that. Like I, like I love football and this is what I was put on earth to do. And I bring a different swagger and confidence to me, um, and I've always felt like that. Um, it wasn't a play or it wasn't a season. Like When I first stepped in the NFL, I knew I could play. Yeah. That's just the mentality that I had, and I feel like that's why I'm here where I am now. Greg, I, I totally agree with what you're saying. I, absolutely. I lived it. I played 10 years in the NFL when I shouldn't have been there 10 days. Now, I'm not saying that applies mm-hmm. to you. But you're doing it. Yep. You're you're going out there and you're playing against guys that are bigger, yep. faster in some situations, right? Maybe even stronger, whatever it may be. But that's the great thing about the game of football, yep. isn't it? Yes, because sir. the game of football measures how much you're willing to give. 100%. It's not about how big you are. That's right. It's about what you have inside of you, your heart, uh, the passion for the game. 
What's uh, what's Drew Petzing and and Jonathan Gannon? What are those guys like to play for? Especially Drew Petzing because we haven't really got to ask about mm-hmm. him a lot with a lot of the players. But I mean, you're obviously in his offense. What's, yeah. what's he like? He's very uh, calm and neutral. Um, he doesn't get too high, too low. I feel like that's the perfect way to be in this game <laughs> of football. Um, but it's fun. Uh, I feel like he's growing trust in everybody on the offense. Like I said, this is going in a year or two. Um, and, yeah, just seeing how confident he is in everybody else, it, it gives everybody else confidence. So so I see you playing an awful lot of wide receiver this year, of course, in 11 personnel, one back, one tight yeah. end, three wides. I see you being in the slot a lot. Talk a little bit about that, the chemistry yeah. that you have worked up and built up with Kyler Murray. How is that progressing? Yeah, it's progressing really well. Uh, I've been here four years. Um, so just over that time span, it's just practice and being on practice squad and having one-on-ones and practice squad team, just all of those different reps. Um, you can easily just see the trust mm-hmm. that me and Kyler have. Um, and then when it comes to, to game time, obviously we, we've connected on numerous occasions. So uh, the trust is there, um, and that makes me feel really good. Uh, but – just being implemented more in this offense is exciting for me. Um, it's something that I've worked tremendously hard to to honestly get here in the first place. Um, and like I said before, man, I'm excited for for the season to roll around. We're talking to Greg Dortch. Greg, you just said it. You've been here four years. That's more than I think any other receiver on the team. Yeah, I mean, me you and got... I, my Andre. Uh, Pichelli, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So, do some of these newer guys, whether it's a rookie like Marvin Harrison Jr., mm-hmm. even like guy like Zay Jones, who's been in the league yeah. but he hasn't been here, like, do they come to you for advice on stuff? Uh, not really. Other than the weather, like, how yeah. do you survive the heat? <laughs> well, that's big. Um, yeah, just hydration. But uh, yeah, Zay Jones, he's been around, so nothing really changes. Honestly, it's, yeah. it's all the same. Where do you need to improve, in your opinion? Everywhere. Where, everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. I'm, I'm always looking for ways to grow. Um, I think the biggest thing is just being consistent. And uh, it's like when I go out and step foot on the field, the coaches know that I'm, I'm going to be exactly where I say I'm going to be or where they want me to be. And just being consistent, I think that's the hardest part in the NFL because – things change on a, yeah. on a day-to-day, and you just have to continue to be consistent. And sometimes, Greg, too, once you achieve something, human nature says you, you, you kind of chill, you, yep. you back off yeah, a little bit. 100%. Because, hey, listen, you know what? I, I know that I belong here, and I know that I've done this. We all know I can play. And a lot of times, players will have a tendency of backing off. I don't get that feel yep. from you at all. And to that point, I think – it's funny to say that the the best thing that happened to me was probably going undrafted because it it I already had a chip on my shoulder, but just going undrafted and all thirty two teams passing up on me, it added the chip even bigger. Yeah. So even though I made plays and I, I felt like I belonged, like I'm still trying to prove myself yeah. day in and day out, and just being undrafted and getting cut and getting told that I'm not good enough that just pushed me even harder. Is that that hard work? Is that do you think where it all came from, or is that somebody like instilled that in you growing up, or that's just kind of the way you've been? Yeah, I would say it's probably both. I, okay. I come from a, a great household, parent, two parent household. Uh, my, my parents have been very supportive, um, and I've always played football and I've loved the game. Um, but yeah, just I've always been that guy, even high school, college, and then you get to the NFL and they tell you you're not that guy. Yeah. So it's like, okay, I'll show you. <laughs> That's great. Greg, thank you so much, man. We appreciate it. Good luck this year, all right? Thank Thank you, you, buddy. Thank you. Thanks for watching Wolf and Luke. Tap to see more and click the button in the middle to subscribe to Arizona Sports.